All right, thank you, John. Yes, this is a good one. We've been smelling it all morning here in the studio. It smells great. And it's a what's for supper casserole. Straight to the point, Straight Carol. Straight to the point, yes. And <laughs> I was looking for recipes because I'm not very creative sometimes. So I found this one and I thought, oh, <laughs> this is perfect. So you uh, have, I already kind of started it so we would have room in our pan there. Okay. So we put have onions and cabbage. And you want to cook your onions and cabbage together for a while. Put a little, uh, I use uh, red cooking wine. That's kind of an oxymoron for me to use wine in my cooking, but uh, usually you <laughs> wine for drinking. But, yeah. And some butter and some garlic. I use the jarred garlic. And you stir, and it probably takes about 15 minutes to get all the hamburger or all the cabbage and the onions tender. Mm -hmm. And then you'll want to add, add some ground beef. And I usually cook my ground beef ahead of time in the... I usually brown it in the microwave and kind of oh. drain any juices or grease off. Okay. So you stir that, and then you put a can of cream of celery soup. You can use whatever you want for soup, but I, I like cream of celery. I do too. You I need to have that on hand always. Yes. Yeah. It's just there's something about the celery part of it. So you'll put that in there, and you'll stir it, and uh, you want to get it heated really, really well. We can't do that on TV. We don't have time. We aren't a... But we understand. We yes. understand, yes. <laughs> so we'll stir... Then the next step, and this is where we'll need your help, okay. is we take uh, crescent roll pop biscuits and we put one or two of them in the bottom. As you can see, they're the triangles, okay. like that. And then we'll put this casserole in there. This Oh, the whole thing goes the, in there? The, well, I think the whole wow. thing will fit in there if we don't send it to the is floor. Is this the size of casserole you would yeah, use for this? Yeah, this is okay. the size of casserole. And really, it, it fills up nice, and it makes six really nice servings. Oh, and you could double this if you have a larger yes, family. Yes, you Great. certainly can. Okay. And kind of the fun part is you can uh, mix up your cabbage and your ground beef ahead of time and freeze it. Okay. And so, you know, put a, make a couple batches ahead of time. Then you put your, uh, this is a whole package, a whole two cups of cheese. And I know it seems full. But when you bake it, okay. then you put your other two. Oh, you finish with the other crescent. Finish with the other crescent rolls. Oh. And so when you bake it, you can see how it did cover it all up. It's kind of like a runza in a yeah, way. Yeah, it is kind of like kind a runza, the flavor yeah. white. Yeah, and it's so easy. But like I said, you can cook your mm -hmm. meat and your cabbage all together and put it in the freezer. And then when you, right. oh my gosh, what am I going to cook? And you got crescent rolls in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and some cheese. Then you can heat that up mm. really well and put it together and bake it. And a half hour later, mm. it is ready to go. Very, very good. This would be perfect for after school, busy parents. Yeah, yeah. Have it ready to go. All Have right. it all ready to go, yep. Carol, thank you. Thank you. What's for supper? Here it is. And that recipe is on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. Back to you, John.